Okay, so uh, the first thing that we need uh, would be to actually make things, uh, you know, configurable using the basic object oriented patterns like constructors. Okay, because right now everything is like hard code, like you can only create only a single type of wheelbase and you can only create a single type of engine right now in our program. Okay, so what we need to do is like go to the wheelbase class, for example, okay, and uh, let's say we have we can create like a a uh, class called uh, mm, uh, size so we'll base a uh, class size so we can make an in fact an enum class uh, enum class size and uh, we can have types inside it like you know uh, okay so now uh, whenever we create a wheelbase uh, what we need is like uh, let's say I say that I need uh, the wheelbase size whenever we create a wheelbase okay so wheelbase uh, size um, So uh, whenever we are creating a wheelbase, like in my constructor, I put that fact that uh, a wheelbase would need a wheelbase size. Now, whenever we create a wheelbase size, uh, then let's say our uh, price also, uh, we can uh, make it a little different. Uh, we can make it dependent on the uh, size of the wheelbase. So we can do uh, when, uh, you know, uh, so let's make it a val actually, val size wheelbase dot size. So when uh, this dot size uh, and then uh, we can put all the uh, add all the remaining branches. So if it is a small uh, wheelbase and then, uh, you know, oh, by the way, I, I think I should do something is uh, before doing all of that uh, stuff. Let me just uh, quickly get back to the older state there. Uh, right. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, this would be same. So what I'll do is I'll make a git repository where you can find out the code base for this uh, particular uh, project. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do is uh, you know uh, uh, okay, I think uh, it will create a git ignore file. Um, make sure that you know Java and Kotlin. And, Jet brains is covered. Mm, Gradle is covered. Okay, so we'll generate a git ignore file corresponding to that. And uh, oh, by the way, like if you guys prefer uh, something like a darker color theme, I can maybe uh, use that instead uh, to uh, for your program. Uh, so I think yeah, I think you guys all prefer darker uh, code be darker uh, themes when looking at code. Like you probably see this in a dark screen uh, usually so yeah okay so i'll do a And I will uh, push it into a repository. So, so here's uh, the repository uh, basically. Uh, github.com slash coding blocks archives with hyphens uh, slash uh, Kotlin design patterns. So yeah, uh, you guys can, you know, go and uh, check out the code step by step that I'm putting it out there on this uh, repository. Uh, right. Uh, if there is anything important that I can put in a readme or something, I will uh, do that as well uh, in a readme in this uh, project repository. Now, now that uh, gets us to uh, like the 
uh, let us actually uh, put like make some of these things configurable so what i will do is uh, yeah um, so let's start from like uh, chess is what we're saying okay so chess is uh, if it has a wheelbase we were thinking okay so wheelbase if it has a size so uh, val size uh, equal to uh, val sizes of uh, type this uh, enum class let's say yeah right so then our get function can also be like dependent on uh, this uh, size here and I can put all the required branches so okay what do we have uh, so if it's small then let's say uh, what was the size 1 lakh 20 thousand right so if it's small uh, let's say it was uh, 1 lakh uh, if it is uh, you know medium size then 1 lakh 25 thousand if it is of big size then let's say it's uh, you know 1 lakh 75,000 chassis okay so now uh, a wheelbase so when we make a wheelbase you have to provide the size to it okay um let's go ahead okay um so uh we know like you know when we're making a wheelbase we'll have to give it a uh, size uh, we'll actually have to we should give the chassis here uh, we should put our chassis out of here and put it here okay and uh, we'll get it from uh, the constructor like this and uh, so we'll make a chassis uh, so let's say uh, we'll have a uh, chassis and uh, then um, what we can do is uh, this uh, chassis that we are creating uh, this will have let's say our type okay uh, so we'll give, a, give, give it an enum type here okay uh, so uh, enum class uh, type and let's say chassis types are hatch hatchback uh, sedan suv and pickup okay so again the price here would uh, become let's say uh, dependent on the uh, type of uh, chassis that we have here okay uh, so when this dot type okay so in that case uh, so it's a hatchback chassis so originally the price was two lakh right so it's a hatchback let's say I, the chassis uh, cost only one lakh uh, fifty thousand okay uh, if it's a uh, sedan then it costs uh, say two lakhs okay if it's an suv then it costs uh, two lakh uh, fifty thousand and if it's a pickup then let's say it costs uh, three lakh uh, fifty thousand okay so based on that value we now have like you know different kinds of uh, chassis okay wheelbase and uh, engine so now engine also let's say we give it uh, uh, let, let's create a enum class uh, type here and uh, we have got uh, petrol diesel uh, hybrid and uh, electric okay so uh, okay so we'll do this here as well so we'll do when uh, okay so you have engine type as well so if engine type uh, is uh, gonna be of these different types uh, so I uh, have to look at petrol engine let's say costs uh, so 150,000 right so petrol engine costs uh, 1 lakh uh, diesel engine let's say uh, so yeah so electric engine let's say costs uh, quite a lot it costs uh, 4 lakhs okay uh, then a hybrid engine say costs uh, even more than that because it has to do electric as well as uh, uh, electric so it costs say maybe uh, you know five lakhs the petrol and the diesel engines cost uh, one and two lakh uh, respectively okay so that's like the price of my engine and uh, you know
Okay. Uh, also, like when we create an engine, we will take a transmission object uh, here. Uh, uh, like it will start happening automatically. What will happen is that uh, say we have got transmission. Okay. Now our transmission is again uh, so well. Uh, Uh, let's say we create an enum class uh, type again uh, for here. So transmission. Uh, so we we can have like you know a rear wheel drive transmission. Uh, okay, we might have uh, forward wheel drive. Uh, we might have uh, all wheel drive. Okay, uh, and uh, we might have four x four. Okay, so. Uh, Yeah, let's just say rear wheel, forward wheel, all wheel drive like that and our transmission also will have like this uh, type uh, for that case now and uh, you have to do like uh, when here on this as well. So it's like boring stuff I know but uh, we'll have to set it up for all the uh, classes that we have here. Uh, so transmission type let's say if, if it's rear wheel drive that's uh, that's probably like the uh, look, a forward wheel drive is like the cheapest so we can make it let's say 75000 uh, rear wheel drive a little costlier say 90000 and if it's like a all wheel drive car then it's like 1 lakh uh, 10000 okay uh, yeah so there we go so that's my transmission type now you will see why we have to put this transmission type so if i uh, create an engine and then if I put a well transmission equal transmission like this I, I have to put the type here but when I'm creating the engine class I should not define what type of transmission it has like we can't hard code it so we'll have to uh, get the transmission into the engine at construction time because uh, when we are making it that time we will tell and we'll allow somebody to tell uh, what transmission type it is going to have uh, at that point here okay so yeah Uh, then we have like wheel okay uh, so wheels let's just say you know we don't have like a need for doing these things but uh, for for or let's say seat and wheel we just have fixed prices for now we can probably have some you know type of upholstery and wheel can have like types of tires inside them we'll get to that place uh, but uh, we'll see one thing is uh, you know uh, let's say now when we are creating a vehicle uh, so we can't create a wheelbase like this and we can't create an engine like this as well okay and uh, calculating costs like this can start becoming a little uh, you know difficult okay so what we'll do is uh, you know uh, have a little uh, difference here uh, okay uh, so Uh, let's go to this parts interface okay and uh, let's say we have a price here okay and we create another uh, one called val uh, so we create a price of uh, let's say we can do a refactor so we'll do control shift f6 here and we'll do a refactor to uh, you know uh, self price and then we do a val co total cost okay so what's the difference that this will bring about is uh, let's let's understand why i did that and let's do it in the next video i think you've seen a lot of changes happen in this current video so i am doing self price and uh, you know uh, cost as separate things let's find out in the next video uh, okay